So as we continue our journey of education, inspiration, and entertainment, we find ourselves once again in Capitol Hill. That's right. Believe it or not, the U.S. government still has their heads thoroughly up their asses. <laughs> and one thing that's interesting when you look at American politics, because we know the whole world does, right? Everybody loves to talk about us. But when you look at American politics, there's one thing that recently, even more so, has become like center stage is kind of the idea of like drama, <laughs> right? Drama is as, as old as humanity. We love drama. It, make, it pays attention. It gets things done. It manipulates all drama. We love it. I don't know why we love it. Look, go back to theater. Go back to uh, who is the Romeo Romeo. I mean, we got all kinds of drama. It's as far back as cold cave paintings, I'm pretty sure. There's just people nagging at each other. Drama makes the world go around. And there is always an abundance of drama going on in U.S. politics. And honestly, all politics, because I got something to say to Trudeau, too. But <laughs> right now in the U.S., so one thing that happens a lot in the U.S. is bills get introduced that you, these people know, hands down, will never pass. Right? They pass regulation for the politics of it. They pass regulation for their constituents. They pass regulation with the full and total understanding, or uh, right legislation with the full and total understanding that this will never pass. You want to know what a great example of that is? Which is why it amazes me that people still vote for uh, Democrats. And now granted, same on the other side. Do you know how long reparations have been on the table? Since the 80s. 80s. Since the 80s. It is 2023. And since the 80s, certain side of the aisle has talked about passing reparations. I don't believe in them in any way, shape, or form. But with that being said, at some point, when you see a, con <laughs> a congressman or woman a, like constantly talking about a point that they're trying to pass, here's exactly what is going on. You have a population that is, that is yelling for it, a certain population, it, it could be whatever, right? A population is saying, hey, do something about this. And then a politician is using that, hey, do something about this to gain points, to gain political power. Because the more power you have, the more change you can make. This period is how it works. Look at the WEF, okay? The more power you have, the more change you can make. So as you make up these lies and say that you care about these things, you know, you, you write these, let well, you don't, but your underlings write these bills knowing they're just going to get shot down. But they look great. On news. So when I say to you, Holly introduces the Pelosi Act, which will ban lawmakers from trading stocks. Okay, they've been so there's a Holly and another person. I can't remember the other person's name, but they have wrote a bill that basically says that politicians and their spouses cannot participate more or less in the stock market. And the reason for this is because they have a direct and complete influence on the stock market. The bills they pass, the companies they regulate, the things they make illegal, the things they make legal has trillions of dollars of effect on the market, on the, on the stock market. Okay, so for example, back in 2020, when the U.S. government was going to do something for silicone, let me read it to you. So when the House prepared a vote on a bill focused on domestic chip manufacturing, Mr. Pelosi, our at the time House Speaker's um, wife, <laughs> basically, husband, sold, guess what? All of his domestic chip manufacturing stock. And then the very next day, guess what happened? Regulation was brought forward. Now, a spokesperson for Pelosi said at the time, he sold those shares at a loss. Yeah, because he didn't want a bigger loss after the bill passed. So the whole point, the whole point, okay, that I really just have to drive home here. The moment you decide to do something for the whole, you have to stop putting yourself first. 
The moment you decide to be a cop, the moment you decide to join the military, the moment you decide to run for office, the moment you join a school board, the moment you have decided that I am going to make my life be for the society, you have to put your stuff away. You have to be okay with not being a millionaire. You have to be okay, excuse me, with not playing the stock market. You are now a servant to the people. Your ego gets checked at the door and so does your fucking wallet. I'm not saying they should be slaves. I'm not saying they shouldn't get paid. But I'm saying that because humans are exactly what they are, flawed. Even if it's subconsciously, we will do what is best for us. We will selfishly act. If you completely, because for example, the domestic chip thing, say they bought it years before because it seemed like a good financial decision, yada, yada. Okay, that's fine. Unless you're a politician, that's fine. <laughs> unless you write bills that make certain chemicals illegal. How come hitting my desk is making it mute? <laughs> Damn it. So ultimately, well, whatever. I don't know what you hit or what you didn't get, but the point is it's insider trading. Fact by definition, man, as much as I don't, they are playing the skirt. If it looks like a duck, smells like a duck, it's probably a fucking chicken. That's how our government works, right? Like, no, just because it looks like this doesn't mean it's this. And you can trust me because I'm in the government and I'm here to help. It's ridiculous, man. The, and here's why it matters. Here's why it's important. It has nothing to do with the money. It has nothing to do with what they do with the money. And it honestly, as much as I hate to say it, it doesn't even have to do with the lies. It has to do with the fucking optics. Because here, if... There is no world where an intelligent person can look at that scenario where a congressional or a member of Congress is making millions of dollars off of the stock market within days slash weeks of legislation being introduced and or passed. No intelligent person, even if it is completely and totally above the board, I don't think so, but give her the all the give her all the benefit of every doubt you ever have in your whole life. We'll give it straight to Nancy, right? We'll get we will give you all the benefit. No, you're an angel from heaven and you fart pixie dust, right? <laughs> Even with all of that, no smart person be like, oh, it's just coincidence. Seven times this month. It's just a coincidence. That she came in making less than six and now is worth tens of millions. It's just a coincidence. It's the optics. Because if we lose trust in our government, there's no quicker route to oppressive government. Because a government threatened will use force. And you saw it with COVID. You saw it with everything. A, vi a, a government threatened will always use force. So, in a world of bullshit bills that won't get passed, don't buy into it. Don't play the game. Don't play the sides and don't play the team. There's one team, us, the people. Everybody else is like the special, they're kickers, right? They're the special teams. We need them for very specific stuff. Just like a kicker, kicker and a quarterback. We're the quarterbacks. We're the linemen. We're the foot. Uh, we're the vast. We're the shooters, and we're the we're we're definitely not the kickers. We're definitely not the kickers. So all of you beautiful people here, keep your eyes open, man. Hold these people accountable, because we know better. If you don't know better, you're in the right place.